Hey guys, before we get into today's card spotlight, if you want to get involved in future card spotlight videos, you can vote for the card we spotlight on Twitter or of course commenting below. On Twitter, it's at ResolvesMTG. With that, here's today's spotlight. What's up guys, welcome to this week's card spotlight video. Today we are talking about Mystic Snake as voted on by you. Ooh, Mystic Snake guys is a 2-2 creature with flash that states when it enters the battlefield, counter target spell. Sounds like cancel wrapped up in a creepy snake. Which is exactly what it is. That is exactly what it is. <laughs> uh, it was printed in Apocalypse and got reprinted Kev when? It was time shift printed. In okay. Time Spiral, it was also printed in 2015 Modern Masters, uh, as as well as, I believe, one of the Commander sets. Uh, I do not know which. Okay. But it was reprinted a few times, um, and because of that, it's very cheap and very easy oh, yeah. to get your hands on. Oh, um, super cheap. Obviously, this card is not super playable in competitive mm -hmm. formats. This isn't something that we're going to mm -hmm. see too often. However, it did touch on Modern and Legacy at one point, and Modern specifically, it actually went into Amulet Bloom. Yeah. Which, if you played during that time, you know how insanely good that deck is. Yeah. Um, good funny. enough to get banned. Uh, yes. <laughs> there you go. There yeah. you go. Um, it is a super powerful card. Unfortunately, we don't see it in competitive play. Yeah, the reason for that is, if you're looking at the card, kind of clear. Uh, it is two blue and a green and a colorless. It yeah. is a four mana counter on a stick. Which, I mean, counter on a stick seems really good, but the 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 cost is just cumbersome, right? Uh, Amulet Bloom got away with it because it fixed its mana so efficiently, um, which is kind of its thing. Yeah. But other decks don't get to play with this, um, unfortunately. There aren't a lot of, like, Soul Tie or Bug or... Bant or yeah, something. There's not a lot of those decks running around modern. You see a bunch of tempo decks and stuff in Legacy that play with green and blue, but mm -hmm. they don't have Mystic Snake. They have other payoff things. Exactly. Uh, unfortunate for Mystic Snake, but that's fine, right? Its home isn't really in the competitive scene. Exactly. Right? And that brings us to the next point, which is where does this actually get played? And Commander and Cube Drafts are the two best answers for this. Yeah. Uh, Commander, this is a all-star card, I believe, because yeah. you're going to have the time to get to four mana very easily, and you're going to be able to play it. It's a casual-ish format for the most part, yeah. and so you're going to be able to get away with stuff like that. Cube drafting, in my opinion, is where this is most at home. Uh, the Legacy Cube Draft, if you've ever seen it played on MTGO, mm -hmm. uh, actually does, or it used to, I should say, have Mystic Snake in it. Uh, and it's a fantastic card. In the green-blue ramp deck, it is perfect. It is yeah. A+. plus. It's a great tempo play. You're going to ramp into it. It's going to be almost free. Yep. Um, a creature with flash, always flexible. Yeah, absolutely. A counter, always necessary. <laughs> so... Mystic it provides that yeah. little bit of interaction that most green decks don't get. That's a good You know point. what I mean? Yeah. And so it sort of ties in the blue and the green just super, super well. Yeah. It adds a small clock just like Snapcaster would or something right. along those lines, and it does counter something. So it's fantastic. Uh, perfect for casual players. If you are looking to get these, you can literally get them for a penny. Yeah, you uh, can like <laughs> trade basic lands for them. Honestly, they're, yes. They're, that, that's not because they're bad. There's just a, an abundance. Exactly, yeah. and they're just not competitively playable, and yeah. so we're seeing that, you know, drop that price down. Um, it's perfect, though. It really is great for kitchen table magic. Uh, if you are having a bit of a problem with your friend's nasty Terastodon or something along those lines, they always are. why not just counter it? You know, why not? <sighs> Uh, it's perfect. It really is great. Counterspell on a stick, guys. It's yeah. awesome. I on a, love it. On a snake. On a stick snake. Yeah. <laughs> guys, thank you for watching this card spotlight. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, uh, comment down below. Make sure you vote for next week's card spotlight. Yeah. Uh, you can do that in two ways, either commenting down below or going to our Twitter at ResolvesMTG. Uh, we will have the official poll up there. The three mm. options for next week's uh, card spotlight video. Da -da 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 drum roll. Uh, Singular Vampire is number one. Ad Nauseam, an all star in modern, is number two. And Sliver Overlord is Ew, number three. Commander all star. Yeah. Overlord, not queen. Overlord, Overlord not queen. Mm -hmm. 
So, guys, make sure to vote either down below or on Twitter. Let us know which one you would like us to do a card spotlight on, and we will make that video happen for you guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for all of our content. And turn that little notification button on. You gotta do that. Ring that bell, baby. It's a little annoying that you have to do that, but you gotta do that. I mean, yeah. But (laughs) I was gonna say it makes sense. It doesn't really. No, it doesn't. Because if you're subscribing to something... You'd think you'd, you'd want you'd to assume, see it. Yeah. Hey, you We two. thought you enjoyed our content. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Let us know below. <laughs> or above. Or in an email. Strongly worded email. <laughs> Strongly worded email. Yeah. Guys, thank you for watching this card spotlight, and thank you for mm-hmm. voting. Make sure to vote for the next one. Until then, though, we will see you next time, guys. Have a good week. Goodbye.